Everybody, are we going to see the Japanese yen going to fall apart in 2024 and the Swiss yen, the Swiss yen, be the main benefiter? Well, it looks like. Let's have a look at the charts, but I just wanted to mention at the end, I'm going to show you one uh, fantastic opportunity in the crypto markets and as well a good opportunity in the futures market for, for this year. 2024. Now let's have a look at the charts. So this is the monthly chart. So when, when we say that the yen is falling apart, what it basically means was the yen is the second pair here in the cross pair, basically means that the uh, this chart goes up, right? And since the um, the spike, um, yeah, the fear spike of corona pandemic in March 2020, well, it, it only sees one direction up. So that means that, that since this point, the yen is losing in value with short pullbacks, but we can nicely see how that is a strong uptrend. We only have a pullbacks to the 21, if at all, pullbacks to the 8 and sometimes to the 21. We have reached the targets here while well, the next target, and that's a cluster level of several highs plus a big number, the 170 uh, with a, a quadruple zeros. This is the target for the euro yen. So it looks like the yen is going to lose even, uh, even more value for the next uh, 6 to 12 um, months to come. Well, when we talk about the yen, there are cross pairs uh, with, with, with the yen, right? So for example, the odd yen, Australian dollar. The Australian dollar is not a strong currency. It's actually very weak, but the yen is even uh, weaker. And we can see it here nicely. Again, the turning point was the corona pandemic uh, fear spike. And since then, we're moving only in one direction. These are the famous stock run levels we talk about a lot. These are pronounced uh, levels. Um, typically wicks, outstanding wicks. So basically these are level, magnet levels where price is drawn to, pulled to, and then pushed through. And this gives us these stop run moves like we had here with this level. That's a stop run move, pull back, and then the next one comes up. So again, here against the Australian dollar, which is weak, the yen looks even weaker. Let's have a look now against uh, the Canadian dollar, yen against the, the uh, Japanese uh, yeah, again, very weak, right? We have taken out this level. It was a stock run move, pull back to the 21. So now we are going for the next level, just about to make a new high. That looks very bullish for the cat yen. So the, the next very obvious level is this one. Again, it's a stock run level. It's a magnet area. And we should get there swiftly because there's no resistance uh, in, in the way. So we get um, there. Now let's have a look at the yen versus the uh, the Kiwi, New Zealand dollar against yen as well. Here we're in an, an uptrend since uh, March 2020. This is an S1 pattern, right? A breakout failure pattern, S1. And it, it basically runs its course. That's what it should do. And it's about to break the consolidation high. When it does that, and there's another pristine stop run level just a little bit higher. Uh, well, well, when it does that, we should see a quick push towards its target, one. 110. Well, let's have a look now at the US yen. Well, we're coming to this yen cross pair at the end because it's a, it's a bit special. I mean, we can see here as well that the yen has lost tremendous uh, in, in value here. Again, this is an S1 pattern and this is a, a stop run move. Or a move we get out of the pattern entry, stop, a measured move. But um, what we had here with the US yen is what we had Bank of Japan, central bank intervention at this level, at this level, and they were only able, able to push price back to the 21 moving average, which is a very normal and healthy price uh, action. Again, we, we saw another Bank of Japan intervention up here. Uh, the push did not even get to the 21. So even if the Central Bank of Japan intervenes, it can. It looks like it cannot break this very strong uh, uptrend. And the target area is, is above. Should this level break, this is a double top, stop run level. We should, again, we should see a big push, big push higher. So this shows the weakness uh, of the yen. Now let's let's have a look at the strength uh, of the Swiss. When we see, say that uh, the, the yen falls apart, but the, uh, the Swiss, the Swiss yen should uh, benefit, well, we should see that in the charts, right? This is the Euro Swiss um, chart, uh, a very liquid uh, currency pair. And we can see that it is in a, in a multi-year uh, downtrend against the uh, the euro. And I mean, th there's no stopping. This was the Swiss National Bank, SNB, intervention. It was pegging um, the uh, the Swiss to the euro at the 120 level. Well, they were just successful for some time, right? And here we see it unpacked 
and a big uh, flash uh, down. Since then, well, technical pullback and then uh, continuing its downtrend for a stronger uh, and stronger uh, Swissy. Well, Euro Swiss is just one Swiss cross pair. Let's have a look at uh, a few others against the yen. Well, a strong currency against the weak, what should we get? Well, a strong, very bullish uh, chart. That's what you get. We even had an MS1 pattern here. Um, around the corona, right, the corona pandemic here in March 2020. And that, that was actually the entry signal in this uh, monthly S1 pattern. And we, we basically generated a multi hour uh, result. It's up here at a big number, 170. We should get another push, another push uh, higher. Now let's have a look at another uh, Swiss, uh, Australian uh, Swiss. Australia is relatively weak and it's basically shooting for this stock run level. Again, March 2020, Corona pandemic, it's shooting for the level. And whenever such a level gets broken, we see an acceleration, a vertical move down. And this is what we're basically expecting here over the next six to 12 um, months. Let's have a look at um, uh, the Swiss. Uh, New Zealand, so the Kiwi Swiss here as well. Uh, we've got this uh, outstanding, um, very important uh, wick low, and it's just testing that level, right? So should that fall, and that could happen anytime this within the next one or two months, if that level breaks, well, again, then we should see a flush down. So there's a lot more Swiss strength uh, to come. I mentioned several times the euro, uh, the Australian dollar. Well, let's go and see uh, the euro odds. So this is the chart. It's clearly bullish, right? Again, here we see an S1 pattern that is triggered down here. But it looks like the Australian dollar is really weak against the euro, right? And uh, we are basically here. Well, the S1 pattern triggered just recently. That's the first leg coming back to the 21, and we're just about to yeah to start another one, two, or three legs higher towards the target, which clusters with a very important big number, the two quadruple zeros, and then we've got a stop run level higher. So this is a fantastic uh, magnet level, a level for prices to push to, uh, pull to, and then push uh, beyond. Um, so I'm very bullish uh, for this chart. Is the When we talk about the Australian dollar, well, we're always interested, okay, what, what is the Australian dollar versus the Kiwi doing? Because these two currencies are typically relatively strongly correlated. But what we see here is that the, the Kiwi should do much better. And this is a down move, a momentum move. That's a consolidation. We've got a, a series of stop run levels set up here. That was the, the breakout failure, the, well, the breakout trial that failed. And now we're in this small consolidation range. And I'm looking for, for this to break lower and start running series of stop run levels. If we go one time frame higher, lower. The weekly, where well, we can see it, stop run level two, three, four, five, six stop run levels on the weekly and on the monthly more to come. So should this start to move, well, we should see red bars like this. Now, let's have a look at the cryptocurrencies. So this is a SOL, S-O-L, Solana versus the US dollar. Uh, what we like to see here, well, we had a, a, a pattern, a multi-bar pattern on, on the weekly chart that has triggered back here. Nice move, first leg up. Um, this is um, very bullish, right? Long term. This is the momentum move. This is the pattern. Well, on the weekly chart, now we've got another pattern right, on a four hour chart. And that's really nice now, right? This is the entry signal. This is the stop. This is a very low risk idea. I and mean, the stop is nicely protected. And we're basically looking for a duplication of this momentum move that there would be a, a two bagger already of price. Uh, well, as a risk reward, uh, entry and stop. That's around a uh, four or five to one, but we've got two outer target. One outer target is this one. This is one leg, so there could be another leg uh, coming, uh, breaking the consolidation high. There would be a six folder, or if we count on this pattern, well, the outer target uh, is this momentum move, and that went from from one dollar sold sold being at one dollar to around uh, two hundred and uh, yeah two hundred and sixty dollars. So that's a two hundred sixty fold the target. So this is an, an, a, a fantastic opportunity for a really very very low risk idea, taking a pattern within an oval pattern and basically capitalizing on the target. 
that comes from the weekly pattern, but only have the risk based on a four hour chart. Now, as promised, let's have a look at uh, futures market. So this is a uh, um, yeah, great opportunity. I think the YM, the Dow Jones future, that's a monthly chart. The Dow Jones future is right at an important uh, stop run level. This is the consolidation high of this week's and S2 pattern. The price is swiftly moved to that level. And should this uh, level break, and that could come at any time within the uh, uh, next week or the next two or three weeks, we should see a very good bullish move higher. So I'm looking for bars of at least that size, big green bars or a series of green bars. And we're basically looking for a move like that. And that was a doubling in price. I hope uh, that was of uh, interest. Uh, please uh, like my YouTube page and please leave a comment to this video in order to get um, community engagement. Thank you.